Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use free Google Insights to get massive, massive map results. Watch this. This video is dedicated to Darren Marion. I love you, brother. So guys, if you log into your Google My Business, you'll notice on the third, I'm sorry, the fourth link down is something called Insights. And this is really important because this is where you see how many people are coming to your website through uh, Google Maps and how many people are calling you. So let's just review this real quick. I'll give you a good understanding of how to use it. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how to promote uh, your website using one of the uh, one of the bits of information that's already in Google My Business Insights. So let's take a look at it. Well, the first box here has how people are coming to you. Are they coming directly to you, or are they finding you in uh, in Google My Business? So, for example, for example, the client that I'm showing today is Hunterton Pulmonary and Sleep. So some people are just typing in to Google directly the name of the, of the uh, website. And some people are just looking for a specific doctor, like a lung doctor or a sleep doctor or an asthma doctor, and that's how they're being found. So what does this tell you? Well, if they did not have a good Google My Business listing, uh, their practice would be down by 94% because only 5% of the people are looking for them directly. 94% of their traffic is coming from searches. And I think I would better raise their rates. So it's important to uh, see how people are finding you. Last one is discovery. And you'll notice that's extremely small. So something that I like to work on is for example uh, I used to just put SEO in my articles linking back to or local SEO linking back to my website so if I was writing an article on somebody else's blog I would write uh, you know an article about how to be found and then I would put a link saying you know if you're looking for a local SEO firm and put a uh, local SEO linking back to my website but now I put uh, MindSaw local SEO. I'm just using that keyword as, a, as an example. I, I use other ones. But I'll put MindSaw local SEO. So then what Google does is Google starts to marry the term. It marries the term with the keyword with your brand. So if you're constantly using MindSaw local SEO, then that becomes part of your branded search. So let's go to Huntington. Huntington is a sleep is a sleep doctor, is an asthma doctor. So if they came up with a sleeping machine, the Huntington Sleep Pro, let's, let's use that as an example. They, they came up with a sleep uh, machine called the Huntington Sleep Pro, and they wrote articles on other websites and in their social media, you know, check out the Huntington Sleep Pro uh, to help you sleep better. Well, that now becomes a branded item regarding their business because only they have it. Uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? They could just say fried chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken, you know what they're talking about. That's the brand. All right, so I hope I made that, uh, I hope I made that, that clear. So right now, unfortunately, Huntington doesn't have that item, but they're still getting, they're still getting uh, a lot of traffic. I would suggest for yourself is to try to find a service that you could do and um, and brand that service with your name so Google sees you as that like I said before mine saw local SEO that's my specialty is local SEO and that's what I want Google to associate myself with with you'll 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 be found a lot more if you have branded if Google sees you as a brand for for an item all right remember the Kentucky Fried Chicken uh, if we scroll down a little bit more, these are the keywords that Google is, uh, that people are finding 
Hunterton for. So, for example, they're looking for a pulmonologist, and 66 people found them. People type in pulmonary, and these are the keywords that people are looking for. You'll notice as you click this, you'll see less than 10. When you click this more button, you'll see less than 10. So, you know, Google won't tell you that only six people or eight people, it's just less than 10. Okay. You'll notice that Google's saying, uh, help customers find you by creating a post. We do posts uh, a couple of times a week. I want to go to that for a second because this is something that is very, very important. Look at the way that we do posts. And this is how I'd like you to do your post. If you notice in our post, I don't just put the picture of the doctor giving uh, the patient uh, asthma medicine, right? I brand that picture with the logo, the name, and then I also put the keyword, which is Huntington Asthma Doctors, right? And then I put the NAP, the name, address, and phone number. Google is able to read the images. Do not just post, don't go to uh, Google My Business and post without putting the logo, the keyword, and the NAP, which is the name, address, and phone number. I start the article off with the keyword that we're trying to rank for. I uh, put a little 50 words next to it, put a few hashtags. Once again, I'm sorry. Once again, I add the NAP, name, address, and phone number. And, uh, and, then, and then I have links going to their Tumblr account, to their map, uh, you know, to the, to the other map. So I throw, in I throw in various links. Okay. So if you just get the idea here, I, this isn't a, a video about how to, how to do Google posts. But if you get the idea, you'll be, you'll be fine. All right. Let's go back to insights. You want to post on uh, Google My Business at least three times a week. Okay. So in the next section, uh, over the month, where customers are finding you. This is the organic search, and this is the maps search. So in this case, more people are finding this client on the uh, organic than they are on maps. But it really depends on the industry and also how people are searching. Most people now are starting to search on their mobile, so I expect this number to change. This is the customer actions. How many people came to the website? How many people requested directions? And how many people called? The called was just a tap to call. So if you, if you search uh, asthma doctor in uh, Flemington, New Jersey, and it comes up with Huntington Pulmonary, once you see the uh, three pack, you could just tap to call any, any doctor that's uh, closest to you or the one that you feel is best. The, the next section is where clients are requesting directions from. So you'll notice these are zip codes where they're requesting directions. You may notice that, and I don't know that this, the uh, zip codes off the top of my head in uh, Hunterton, Jersey, in Fleming, I'm sorry, in Flemington, New Jersey, but let's say it was uh, 08827. And if I wasn't getting any calls from there, I may want to build up that area a little bit more. I've done videos on that. I plan on doing some more later on. Okay, so these are the total calls for the month. You can see what days are most popular. You could also see the popular times that the office is busy. Here's something very interesting. You're going to notice the photos. You notice since we post a lot that us, Hunterton, compared to businesses like us, uh, we're, people see our photos four times as much as everyone else combined. We're in the blue, Huntington. When I say we, that's uh, a client that I do work for. Okay. And uh, once again, the number of photos that appear on your business compared to photos from other businesses. Once again, we 
outdo them. So the last trick that I wanted to show you, I'm going to go back to, which is the keywords that people are looking for you for. Okay, so we have, uh, these are the keywords that Google sees, uh, that sees you popular for and, and your clients are looking for you for. So I would take the word lung doctor and I would do the website. I would create a page just just on lung doctor. So what I would do is Huntington Pulmonary and Sleep dot com slash lung doctor. And I would write a thousand word article on that page. That would be a great article for a uh, for a blog page. You know, lung doctor versus asthma doctor. Which one should I choose? Right. Same thing, you know, sleep doctor, sleep doctor versus uh, uh, sleep specialist or using another keyword in the uh, uh, in the search query that people are looking that are people looking for. So these these um, these keywords that people are looking for you, these are perfect subjects for your blog articles. So this is what I would suggest to create blog articles on these keywords that people are already looking for. This is the low hanging fruit. Okay, best internist near me, our doctor's office open on Memorial Day. I may not create a, uh, a page on that. You know, a breathing doctor. People are looking for these basic terms. Create a blog article on that. You know, maybe I would say asthma doctor versus breathing doctor right or a lung doctor or something like that you could get creative with that but those are great ideas for blog posts if you don't know what to write about hit the low hanging fruit first people are looking for you for those terms create blog articles on those terms get them out of the way before you start looking for new keywords because this is something that google already sees you associated with all right guys well listen i hope you uh, enjoyed this lesson enjoyed learning how to use insights once again, like I always say, you know, make sure you take care of your family. If your wife's around, you can stop this right now. Put it on pause for two seconds. Give her a nice hug and a kiss. And uh, tell her thank you for uh, keeping everything uh, in shape while you're listening to my crazy videos and learning about uh, MAPS SEO. Uh, once again, stay safe out there, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thank you. Hey guys, if uh, you could please contribute to my channel, uh, I take donations of $2.99. The link is below. If you found any value in this video, anything that would help you out, please click the link in the description box uh, for $2.99. I have a PayPal link and I also have a Stripe link. Real easy to do. It helps support the channel and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you.